Hi, Max Sheldon here with Woodcraft Solutions. Welcome back to the shop. We've got lots of stuff going on with the Panda Router these days, and I'd like to share just a few of the innovations that uh, we've come up with and some of the new things that are on our uh, online store. You're probably familiar with our fixed space box joint template. We've improved it just a little bit by making it somewhat taller. That way we can handle a little bit thicker stock. The same applies that if we use our guide bearing and follow each of the slots with a quarter inch bit in the router, we're able to make quarter inch box joints. And with a half inch bit in the router and following every other slot, we're able to make half inch box joints. Um, very, very simple to switch back and forth and we get just super, super quality fit um, with either half inch or with our uh, a quarter, inch, quarter inch box joints. We also have a variably spaced box joint jig that allows us to move the, the slots in any pattern that we want. And it also allows us to position our outer ones so that we get that, that perfect alignment on the ends of, of our workpiece. Likewise, we have a variably spaced dovetail system and this also allows us to put half a uh, tail on each side and line that up just a, a perfectly for our workpiece so that um, whatever size it is, we can make sure that it's well positioned. We've been playing with another template that uh, is pretty interesting. It's for making louvers and it's, I found it really, really easy to operate and to set up. Um, we started by, by cutting a, an acrylic template. We're able to then mount that and cut on using either side. So for the left and the right side of the louvers, we can locate those correctly. We're now pre-assembling many of the major components for the Panda Router. This is the base assembly and it's fully assembled, including the captive nuts that are already pre-located. Uh, assembly now is cut down by more than half. We've also pre-packaged some of our pieces so that uh, everything is, is uh, packed together uh, using shrink wrap. All of our small parts are individually packaged and all ready to go, uh, easily identified and makes the installation, the final assembly, just super simple. In addition, we've made a, a quick start guide and it has some uh, common information, some conversions, some uh, uh, common sizes, um, kind of a how-to on how to set up a couple of the different things, uh, a full-scale guide bearing chart so that you can just uh, uh, select your guide bearing and identify the, the size that it is, which it is. Same goes for the uh, hex key sizes that we ship out with the Panda Router. And then on the back side is a quick start for, for application and it gives you the, the mortise, the tenon, the guide bearing, the bit size, some of the spacings with the uh, variably spaced dovetails and some of the common information that people have asked for. We've uh, assembled this all in, in one sheet so it comes with each of the panel routers that are shipped today. Another very useful innovation is our centering scale fence. The way that it works is that we measure our workpiece and whatever that real measurement is, we align that value with the scale on the back of the fence and that allows the workpiece to be perfectly centered on the table. Here's another example of a creative and innovative way to use the panda router. Rather than just doing a standard miter joint where you've got end grain to end grain, why not bridle the miter joint? It's, a, it's super easy and when you think about it, that's just a mortise and that's just a tenon. This is just cut at a 45 degree angle and this was cut with a chop saw and then simply mortised out. It's a very, very easy, very fast, uh, easy setup and uh, it adds a lot of strength to your standard miter joint. 
We're delighted to say that we've got hundreds of pen router owners across the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and around the globe. They're all able to do mortise and tenon, box joints, dovetail, variations in size for each of those. They're able to use custom templates, make whatever kinds of shapes and sizes they want. Certainly uh, louvers are another uh, interesting way to use the pan router. The tilting table allows you to do compound angles. There's just unlimited possibilities with the pan router. And we hope that if you're not already a pan router owner, that we can add you to our pan router family. So happy pan routing.